Welcome back to News Info. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Monday the CEO of U.S. oil major corporation Chevron, Michael Wirth, with the attendance of Minister of Petroleum Tariq El Mullah and a number of senior officials of the company. During the meeting, the president stressed the state's full support to Chevron's activities in Egypt, especially in the field of search, discovery and production of oil, due to the great expertise that the company has in the activities of oil and gas industry globally. He added that this boosts oil sector in Egypt and contributes to enhancing the state's benefit of its potential resources for the good of its current and next generations. This comes in the framework of deep cooperation relations and long-lasting strategic partnership between Egypt and the U.S. in all fields. For his part, Chevron's CEO expressed his appreciation to President Sisi's meeting and his pride of the company's activity and its existence for decades in Egypt. He also underscored the company's keenness on developing a strategic partnership with Egypt in light of what Egypt has achieved under the leadership of President Sisi on the level of economic development and the remarkable developmental leap witnessed in Egypt. He also hailed the level of the state's general infrastructure in addition to petroleum and gas sector and undergoing regional cooperation for linking and uh, transferring of oil and liquefied gas which has great importance in light of global energy crisis. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli said that Egypt has taken long strides in upgrading its housing, transport, roads and energy sectors and in adopting digital transformation. Addressing the opening session of the 7th Egypt Builders Forum, the Prime Minister hailed the multi-billion presidential decent life initiative, saying that it is a century project which is slated to bring about a major transformation for Egyptian villages. Matbouli stressed that Egyptian consultant offices are ready to implement similar projects in African countries. The Prime Minister added that the Egyptian developmental experience in the previous eight years and the multifaceted mega projects that had been undertaken helped to place the country on the world map in several sectors. Matbouli pointed out to the mega housing projects that helped to put an end to dangerous slums. Prime Minister Sameh Shukri on Monday met with the President of the Chamber of Deputies in Luxembourg, Fernand Etgen, as part of his visit to the EU country, meeting pro pushing bilateral cooperation in parliamentary, cultural, political and economic fields. The two sides also explored means of enhancing mutual visits between deputies and House members in both countries. And during his meeting with Luxembourg Foreign Minister John Asselborn, Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri stressed the importance of boosting economic cooperation between Egypt and Luxembourg, especially through increasing investments in light of promising chances in the Egyptian market. Shukri hailed the level of cooperation between Egypt and Luxembourg in different fields. In addition to the rate of visits and meetings, most remarkable among them was Luxembourg's Foreign Minister's visit to Cairo in June last year. Shukri also underscored the importance of cooperation in the field of energy, reviewing efforts made by Egypt to prepare for the UN Global Climate Conference, known as COP27, to be held in Sharm el Sheikh in November. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri also met uh, President of the European Investment Bank, Werner Oyer, in Luxembourg on boosting investments in Egypt in many fields, especially green transformation. The two sides discussed cooperation in the framework of Egypt's preparations for UN Global Climate Conference, COP27. The ninth round of Egypt-EU Association Council was held in Luxembourg under the chairmanship of Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri and EU Higher Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy Joseph Borrell. The two sides tackled means of boosting cooperation between Egypt and the European Union according to the priorities of